All right, guys, the King is back. Now is a pull truck running the new 2425 um, weight kit that I made that uses 24 quarters. So that's where the 2425 comes from. This one has a little special, the King in it. And this one was built to go on the grasshopper chassis, but I've got them that go on the SCX24 rails and some others were still kind of fine tuning and testing everything. But so far, so good. Ran it on 2S and 3S with the Micro Komodo running the Lizard Pro and the Avatar set up on these Mud Boss tires. Seem to hook up pretty good from uh, Power Hobby. So yeah, overall pretty good. Honey Badger Servo, don't really need a whole lot of steering. Running the Furtuk brass skid plate and brass links. And then the CCXRC Baby Hippo brass axle. So it's a beast of a truck. I'm only running 16 quarters in here. I've got them in slots of two. So you can, you know, choose what kind of weight you want to have and dial it in for what you're doing. Uh, but, you know, I know that the weight I've got to pull is not only here, but also in the back. So you kind of got to fine tune and find out where you're getting your best pull from. So, uh, yeah, we're up here at Reaction RC. They've got a cool pull track. I've got my JS um, chassis works, basically a smaller version of this, 10th scale. And we were doing a bunch of test runs on here, brushed and brushless and having fun. So, pretty cool. <laughs> Pull, pull. Still pull, pull. It was the dust. He's doing it. He's going to do it. Just shy again, so micro Komodo. Yeah. And that's on 2S. I can put it on 3S and see what it does. I should do that. Can do. All right, you guys, here it is after the run. We were able to do almost one pound of weights on 3S. Show you the uh, front here with my 16 quarters in there. You can see I have room for more. Um, I've also got some more built here. These ones are for SCX 24s. This is basically what it looks like when it comes off. Or here, got the uh, little CCXRC on the inside there. It's kind of notating it. But um, yeah, so little weight box, a couple screws, just hold it in. On this one, I've actually got a tab. This one took a little extra work. See the angle going back there and then underneath it, it actually tabs underneath the frame in order to uh, give it a little bit of support. So that's what's different about these ones here for the grasshopper. But anyway, having fun with the, um, the pull trucks in the 24 scale, having a blast. So, uh, I've got my other one up here. That's a 2425 with the brush setup. I didn't record any of that, but um, it was only able to do, it wasn't able to do much. So uh, with the brush setup, I think we got 
two weights on total wasn't much. So 4.4 .4 ounces basically in addition to the weight of the sled. But we're making these up, you guys. Um, we'll have these available very soon on our website. I have a long and a short, depending on how big your wheels are. I have different lengths uh, for the top here um, in order to accommodate big wheels like this. Or if you're running small wheels like that, you can do a tuck to one that's a little tighter. That's the original length. And then these are the long ones. So I'll have two, maybe, or maybe I'll only do the long ones. I don't know. It's only, it's very minimal, the difference between them, honestly. So, uh, you know, you can see the gap here versus on this one, which is tight. So we'll see but thank you guys for checking this out for being interested and uh yeah we'll have a lot more of this coming soon gonna get it all geared up and running you can see i've got a little cleaning to do i've got some dirt on the the bench from this guy that's getting stuck on all this stuff so i'll get it all cleaned off this one just came off the printer you can see the uh supports all set in there but um yeah anyway thanks for tuning in as always guys have fun rcing we'll catch you next time